This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Nokia E75 smartphone. This is a rare bird. This is a side-sliding phone. Looks like a regular candy bar, but do that. Switches to landscape mode, and you've got a full QWERTY keyboard here that's quite large and roomy. The only other phone that shares this design is the HTC S740 and its predecessor, the 730 and the 710. Let's take a look at them together. As you can see, this is a lot more curvy and modern looking. This is kind of a minimalist slab. This is bigger and slightly heavier. And we'll take a look at those keyboards. Now the HTC S743 is available with US 3G as opposed to the S740 which is the Euro only model. This is the E75-2 which is the North American model with 3G HSDPA for AT&T on the 850 and 1900 MHz bands and it's quad band GSM unlocked. It's sold direct by Nokia and other retailers like Buy.com and Dell and the price right now is around 450 if you search for a good price and then Nokia has a rebate special running now that takes another $50 off. Phone's pretty new so price starts high but it's already starting to come down. This runs S60 3rd edition feature pack 2 so this is the latest and greatest S60 OS which shows some improvements on the home screen with more notifications possible and more plugins. And we'll take a look at the programs group right here. You can always rearrange your icons to, see, to suit you and change groupings. But you've got pretty much everything in here that you would even on an Aaron series phone. You've got the gallery application, you've got the FM radio, real player, a music player, and up top a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. Yay! It has a 3.2 megapixel camera on the back. It's not a branded lens but it is autofocus and unlike the Nokia E71 it's not that bizarre autofocus where you have to hit the T key you just simply tap halfway down on the camera shutter button to focus and then press and it takes the best pictures we've ever seen on an E-series device yet yeah, definitely better than the E71 or the E71X or even the E90 communicator the camera button oddly does not launch the camera application you actually have to launch that with a shortcut key on the front that you can assign to it or just manually move through all your icons to get to it. Let's take a look at the design of the device. You can see it's very modern and attractive. I think it's just a gorgeous looking phone. It's also available in red. On this side you've got the micro USB connector and the micro SD card slot. The back is similar to the Nokia E71. It's a shiny metal back that does show fingerprints. Got the speaker back here. Battery release is right here. Easy to take that off. You got your volume keys here and you have your camera key. Your charm mount. And the power button is here. Loaded with the call in button. Keyboard, the keys are very flat. That's how they make the device so thin. And that's the expense of key travel. There's very little key travel. You feel it. It's tactile. It does click, but it takes a little getting used to. The spread is nice and wide, and the keys are very big, and I think even a guy with moderately large hands could be comfortable with this phone. It feels very solid. It feels well made. It looks very classy. It's at the upper end of Nokia's E-Series lineup, and it should for that price. Front, you got a light sensor, and you have the front-facing camera for video conference calling which unfortunately isn't supported by any US carrier. Let's take a quick look and compare it to a couple of other devices. Here it is next to the Blackberry Bold where it looks absolutely dwarfed. And the Nokia 5800 Express Music, Nokia's first touchscreen S60 phone, about the same size really, about the same thickness. And lastly Compared to the Samsung Jack on AT&T, Windows Mobile smartphone. 
This has a GPS with Nokia Maps 2.0 and it gets a fix very quickly, even indoors. It's it's shockingly on Nokia. They've done a great job lately. So no, Nokia Maps is a full-featured mapping and navigation application. Maps are free. You get navigation for 90 days, after which you have to pay for it. You can pay by the month or three-month or year periods. It's about the same price as Telenav on U.S. carriers. It has POIs, turn-by-turn -turn directions, walking directions, and a full set of features. Though this is supposedly a business phone, it has very good video playback, and since it's feature-packed too, it has uh, more codecs than ever. It really only likes to play QVGA video, though. When we try to throw videos at it in supported formats, if they're a higher resolution than QVGA, it complains. So we're going to look at QVGA videos that we've preloaded on the micro SD card. Uses real player as the player for MP4. And next we'll take a look at YouTube. You can use YouTube's own player, which is probably the most expedient, but this does support Flash, so you can play desktop style Flash video if you wish. This is over a Wi-Fi connection right now. Playing full Flash video from YouTube. Next we'll take a look and see how the web browser renders our website. You can see it even supports the DHTML menus, which most mobile phone browsers don't. The text is readable. It doesn't give you the zoomed out view initially, but you do have to scroll around quite a bit to look for the content you're interested in. You can bring up the, the overview the web page just by scrolling quickly to an edge. And lastly, this is an unusual E-Series phone. It supports Engage Gaming, so we're going to take a look at that. So that's the Nokia E75, one of the nicer Nokia smartphones now on the market that combines business with pleasure. And this is Lisa from MobileTechReview.com. Visit our website to read the full review.